Hey everyone, it's Mona. I'm in the craft room. It's Friday and that means it is another coaster Friday. Today I am going to be doing a rainbow coaster and we're going to give that a try and see how it turns out. I had bought this set quite a while ago because I've been planning on doing it and it came, I believe I got it at Walmart and it came with these colors and but it didn't have a red. It had a pink so I thought well I can do a pink but then I thought, no, I really do want to have a red in there for the rainbow. So I'm going to add this red at the beginning and I'll put the pink at the end. And then we'll kind of get our Roy G. Bib. It'll be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo. And then this is not violet, but that's what normally would happen in a rainbow. I have my resin mixed. I'm using the Easy Cast. And I have seven cups because I have seven different colors of glitter. And I am going to fill each cup with some resin and I'm figuring every one has to be a little bit less than the other one because as we're going from the outer circle to the center the outer circle which I'm going to start with the red is going to have really you're going to need the most from there because that's going to spread out the most now I'm going to take some of these and fill up these other ones. I'll start with the red glitter and I will pour it red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Okay. I will pour it into the first one and then I will do the same with the remaining. Alright, I'm going to start pouring them now, and I'm going to start with the red, and I'll pour it right in the center. This is going to be a very, very full coaster, and I hope it works. Okay, then I'm going to take the orange, I'm going to pour it right in the middle, and hope it just spreads everything out. If it doesn't work out, well, maybe it'll be cool anyway. And I can drip just a little bit of the red in the middle again. I will take my lighter, because there's a lot of bubbles happening, run it right across, and we'll see how it works out. If it looks like a rainbow when we're done with it tomorrow because I can see some of the red is starting to float away and it might just turn into one big mess or it might turn out cool. Who knows? And all of my extras I'm just going to start dumping into this next coaster mold right here. And remember if you're looking for the coaster mold or if you're looking for the resin I have all of that listed over on my website, craftclotch.com, and I have all my tutorials written out there and everything, and you can find everything you need over there. Okay, so we have two coasters going at the moment. This is the rainbow one, and that red stuff is kind of floating a little more than I'd like, but we'll see how it turns out might be okay anyway. This is going to be a pretty thick one. Um, and this one is just a Mod Podge of different leftovers again. So I will let both of these sit for 12 hours and then we'll come back and we'll check them out. I mixed up a little more resin just to put a top coat on because this wasn't quite as shiny as I wanted it to be because some of the glitter rose to the top and I thought this would give it a little more depth. I'm going to run this over, pop any bubbles, we'll let it sit for 12 hours, then we will come back and mold it. The coasters are done so I'm going to peel them right out of here. Here is the one with all of the leftovers that I just kind of threw in there splotchy. And here is the rainbow one which still looks like a rainbow one. Some of the the red did float up here, but the other colors are still intact. Here's the back of that one. 
So here they are. I hope you like them. Let me know which one you like better, and we'll see you next time. Happy crafting, and thanks for watching.